Welcome back to the channel. This is Sam Thory, and today we're building a real-time chatbot at using Next.js 15's app router, the Vercel AI SDK, and ShadCN UI components. In this tutorial, we'll walk through everything step-by-step -step to create a fully functional chatbot all in one video. Let's get started. First, we need to set up our project. Open your terminal, and run the following commands to create a new Next.js app and navigate into the directory. By initializing the project with the latest version of Next.js, we ensure access to the most recent features and updates. This foundational step sets the stage for a streamlined development process, allowing us to focus on building the chatbot without worrying about compatibility issues. Let's dive into the commands and set up our workspace. Next, we'll install the Vercel AI SDK and set up ShadCN for our project. ShadCN provides a collection of reusable components built with Radix UI and styled with Tailwind CSS, enhancing our development workflow. Since Tailwind CSS is included by default in Next.js 15, we can proceed directly with the ShadCN setup. ShadCN CLI simplifies this process by automatically configuring the project and importing pre-styled components. This eliminates the need for extensive manual configurations and ensures consistent, high-quality design standards across the application. We'll use the ShadCN CLI to initialize the configuration and add the necessary components, including buttons, inputs, and cards. These elements will be pivotal in creating an engaging and user-friendly chatbot interface. By leveraging these tools, we streamline our workflow and focus on building impactful features rather than worrying about setup intricacies. We need to create an env.local file to securely store our environment variables. In your project directory, add a new file named env.local. Then, generate an OpenAI API key by signing into your OpenAI account and navigating to the API settings. Once you have the key, add it to the file as shown below. This will allow your application to communicate with the OpenAI API. We'll set up an API route to handle AI requests, which will process user inputs and return responses from the OpenAI API. This API endpoint is fully compatible with the Vercel AI SDK's Use Chat hook enabling seamless integration with the chatbot interface. As we set this up, you'll see the API endpoint configuration on screen. This endpoint enables real-time messaging by processing user inputs and returning AI-generated responses efficiently. It's a key part of integrating the Vercel AI SDK with our chatbot interface, ensuring smooth and dynamic communication. We'll now use the Vercel AI SDK's use chat hook to create our chatbot interface. This hook is a powerful tool that simplifies the chat logic by managing messages, user inputs, and AI responses seamlessly. As we implement it, you'll see how it eliminates the need for complex state management and API handling, making the development process much more efficient. The use chat hook integrates naturally with our UI components, enabling real-time communication with the AI. This functionality not only enhances the user experience, but also ensures the chatbot remains responsive and intuitive. By leveraging this integration, 
we're able to focus on creating an interactive and polished chatbot that is both functional and easy to use. You'll notice how the use chat hook bridges the gap between the back end and the front end, ensuring every interaction feels fluid and dynamic. We'll now use the Vercel AI SDK's use chat hook to create our chatbot interface. This hook is a powerful tool that simplifies the chat logic by managing messages, user inputs, and AI responses seamlessly. As we implement it, you'll see how it eliminates the need for complex state management and API handling, making the development process much more efficient. The use chat hook integrates naturally with our UI components, enabling real-time communication with the AI. This functionality not only enhances the user experience, but also ensures the chatbot remains responsive and intuitive. By leveraging this integration, we're able to focus on creating an interactive and polished chatbot that is both functional and easy to use. You'll notice how the use chat hook bridges the gap between the back end and the front end, ensuring every interaction feels fluid and dynamic. Let's commit our code to GitHub before deploying it to Vercel. By pushing the code to a version control system like GitHub, we ensure that all changes are safely backed up and accessible. This step also lays the groundwork for collaboration, future updates, and seamless deployment to hosting platforms like Vercel. Next, we'll deploy our app to Vercel. Before deploying, Ensure your OpenAI API key is configured. You can configure the environment variable in the Vercel dashboard under your project settings. Deployment to Vercel ensures that our application is hosted on a reliable and scalable platform, optimized for serverless functions and fast global delivery. This process transforms our local project into a live application accessible to users worldwide. Our chatbot is now live. It's fully functional and ready to handle real-time conversations. By hosting on Vercel, we've ensured that the chatbot is optimized for performance, providing users with a seamless and responsive experience. And that's it. A fully functional, beautifully styled chatbot built with Next.js 15, Vercel AI SDK, and Shad CN UI. This chatbot is powerful, responsive, responsive, and ready for real world applications. If you enjoyed this tutorial or found it helpful, please like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel for more developer focused content. Let me know what projects you'd like to see next. Until next time, happy coding!